Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie. Thank you so much for taking the opportunity and clicking on this video. As always, I do appreciate it. I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are in a good space. Um, hope you guys um, are having a fantastic day. I know I am. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and get right into today's video. I wanted to go ahead and just do a video just kind of showing um, my wash and go routine and then showing the favorite products. My favorite products that I like using for my wash and go. I usually use four products. I use a thick leave-in, I use a custard to help define the curls, and then I use a gel to hold that definition. And then of course, I like to seal all of that moisture and all that good stuff with an oil. So that is what I will be showing today. But we, before we get started, um, just wanna say make sure that you subscribe to my channel, click on that notification button so you're always alerted when I post a new video. I try to be very consistent. You know, I just kinda wanna make sure that I continue to be that support system for all of you out there. So make sure you do that. Make sure you comment, you like, of course you subscribe, and more importantly, you are sharing this video video with someone that is on their natural hair journey. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I already shampoo, I conditioned, I deep conditioned, just got out of the shower. I went ahead and sectioned my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and start my wash and go. For the deep conditioner, I went ahead and I used the, uh, the main choice, the Fresh Mango and Passion Fruit Mask. I did a review on this on last week's video. I'll put the link below so you can check that out if you haven't. But really love this, so I went ahead and I tried this. Now for this week's <laughs> for this week's wash and go, I'm gonna go ahead and use my all-time favorite, my live my leave-in cream. This is from the African Pride. This is the coconut oil and baobab oil. Definitely love this stuff. This is probably my favorite. It definitely keeps my hair hydrated and definitely makes my wash and go last. Then after doing the leave-in, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the uh, Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. My hair loves custard and I usually love using a custard to help define the curl. Um, just kind of keep that definition on hold. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And then to hold that definition, I like to go in with a gel. And for this wash and go, I'm gonna use the Camille Rose, the Curl Maker. This is one of my favorite gels. This is a very good gel. It's a pricey gel, but it's very good. So I definitely understand why it's pricey. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these products. And then after I use the uh, gel, I'm gonna seal in that moisture with my little mixture oil that I have here. This just has, um, it has olive oil, it has coconut oil, almond oil, avocado oil, and vitamin E oil. And I like using that after I've applied the products to kind of help seal in that moisture. So my wash and go is guaranteed to last me here for uh, the week. Um, I can only wash my hair once a week. I wish I could do it at least twice, but time just doesn't allow it. So these are the products I'm going to go ahead and use. Now that I went ahead and I sectioned my hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and wet this part. I like working in small sections just because it makes things easier for me. My hair is super thick. I'm trying not to get frustrated. So, hair definitely feels smooth. Really, really, really love that deep conditioner. Kind of make sure that my hair is fully saturated. That's the only way my wash and goes come out um, good. Do that. Just add a little bit more water. I love this spray bottle. That feels pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead with my leave-in. I'm gonna take about this much. I'm gonna 
I'm just going to apply that. This leave-in is really, really hydrating. I feel like it's underrated because it really is very good. And it only cost me $6.50, so you can't beat that. Okay, now I like to go in with a comb. Just kind of want to make sure that I have no tangles before I go ahead and apply the custard. So I'm just going to lightly go through it. pretty good. Now I'm going to go back and spray just a little bit more. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the custard. I'm going to use about this much. I'm just going to go ahead and rake that through. Just want to make sure all it is saturated with the product but this is my favorite favorite custard like again this is pricey too but I totally get it so now that I applied it I'm gonna go ahead and just shingle now you don't have to do this step you can just go ahead and rake it but for me, I like to do this extra step just because I kind of want to make sure that every strand is smooth and more importantly, I'm able to just kind of help um, define my curls to my liking. So I don't mind doing this extra step just because like once it's fully dry, like you can see the coils and it just it looks very nice and then throughout the week as they expand especially like when I put it in a high puff it looks very nice I love how it looks so that's why I do this extra step but you don't have to do it go like that that looks really good so now now that I've added the custard I'm gonna go with the gel I'm gonna do like two pumps so I'm gonna go with that gel and then I'm just gonna glide that through help hold that definition and sometimes I see my hair have separated all retwisted but I usually like to glide that through look at that look how it clumps <laughs> so excited okay so now that I've glided the gel, make sure the back is coiled. Now that I've glided the gel, I'm going to go ahead and um, seal in all of that product that I added with my oil. 
And I'm gonna glide that as well. And I feel like doing this method just helps my wash and go last. Look at that. And I also, at the end, I also like to just add a couple of drops to the ends. That's just, again, an extra step that I take. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But look at that. That looks really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and move in to uh, the next section that I have right here. Let me get a clip. I got these gator clips at the beauty supply store. Because I was definitely in need of some. So I'm just going to put that to the side and take this small section right here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same step. And I'm just going to do that throughout my entire um, end. I'm going to go ahead and wet this again. And again, I'm making sure that it's fully saturated. My hair is super wet and I apply the products. It's easier for me to apply it. And of course the results come out looking great. It's just like coconut. Smoothing that down. Don't forget your ends. Never forget my ends. I don't feel any knots, but of course I always like to go in with my tooth comb and I start from the bottom just to kind of make sure everything is smooth and you know my hair is just so thick that you know it just it gets tangled very very easily that's why I have to pre poo I can't just jump in the shower on wash day but I'm used to it all right so that's pretty smooth look at that Looking good, looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and wet it again a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add the custard. And again, I'm going to go ahead and just rake that in. Making sure that I'm getting my roots, because roots needs to be smooth. Take a little bit more. My hair has grown like a lot. It really has. It's crazy to think how far I've come in my journey. Like, I remember when it was all dead hair. <laughs> like, time has flown by. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and again do the same thing and coil. Twist it. Just kind of like to make sure every piece of strand of hair is fully saturated. really 
love that deep condition. Like it's so good. The hair is so soft. Look at that. This is like my favorite wash and go combo just because I feel like when I use these um what one two three these four products i always have a bomb result like this cream with this custard and the gel and the oil this is everything boom look at that so divine so i'm gonna go ahead with the gel i'm gonna use do two pumps again and I'm gonna go ahead and glide that in look at that I see in your hair let me see oh First, I do that. So that looks pretty good. Let me just do another small pump. Just focus on the ends. Make sure my roots are smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead with my oil. Seal in all of that moisture. couple of drops to my ends of course and voila look at that look how it just it clumps I love that get this open all right look at that that looks good so what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now I'll go ahead and finish my entire head. I'll just play some music and I will go ahead and come back um, once I am fully done.
Okay, so I just wanted to come back and just kind of show you what it's looking like. So this side is completely done, as you can see. It's very defined, it's drying up very nicely. I'm going to go ahead and work on this side. Just wanted to show you what it looks like with product versus without. Still, this side is very hydrated. Um, it's a little dry, not that much, but it's very soft, and I'm just going to go ahead and just re-wet re 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 it <laughs> and apply the products and stuff like that, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you a comparison. I'll go ahead and come back once I am fully done. Okay, I am finally done. Voila! So as you can see, my hair is pretty coated. It looks really, really good. I'll go ahead and turn around so you can kind of see the back. I love this combo. It always turns out so good, but my hair has grown so much. Um, yeah. It looks really, really good. Not going to touch it. <laughs> so what I'll go ahead and do now is um, I'll sit under the dryer for a little bit. It's pretty late, so um, more than likely it's not all going to get dry tonight. But I'll sit on the dryer for a little bit, and then um, I'll just wrap it up in uh, my scarf right here. This scarf right here, I'll wrap it up, and then... Um, it should be dry in the morning, and once it's fully dry, I'll go ahead and uh, show you the final results. All right, so it is the next day, and trillion of hours later, <laughs> my hair is finally dry. So this is what it's looking like. I went ahead and um, I also uh, stretched my hair just to kind of get some length. Um, but it just kind of like shrink, shrinks back up. But um, in the meantime, I do enjoy the length. Um, but this is what it look, it's looking like. So as you can see, my curls are super defined. Every hair is pretty much intact. I'll show you what the back is looking like. It feels very, very soft, very hydrating. It smells delicious. And I'm just kind of very happy with uh, with my results. Um, tomorrow, well, actually tonight, what I'll do is I'll just kind of like put it in a pineapple just to um, preserve the curls. And then tomorrow, I'll let it out, maybe spritz it with a little bit of water and conditioner, add kind of like a light gel to like my edges and stuff like that to smooth it down. But yeah, this is pretty good, so I'm very excited. That is the reason why I definitely love um, using the custard and then a gel with a thick leave-in because the results for my hair, it's just always perfect. My hair always feels hydrated, and more importantly, the wash and go lasts me for a full seven days. So that is probably my all-time um, favorite combo, but I wanted to go ahead and get on camera and show you guys the uh, final results. <laughs> Okay, so that is the end of the video. As you can see, it's nighttime for me, so I just got home not too long ago. So this is what day one hair is still looking like. So it's still good. Um, even though I did stretch it, um, it did shrink back up, but not too much. But, you know, it still looks good. Um, it's still a little bit like flat kind of like around here, which I expect that for day one hair, but it still looks very good. I actually rocked it out like this. I just came back from dinner and then tomorrow it'll be a little bit fluffier. You know, I like day two, day three. My favorite is like day four and day five because you get that extra volume, but I just really like um, the products that I use. I like how my curls expand throughout the week because it's like I'm able to enjoy my hair down and then towards the middle towards the end of my wash and go you know I can go ahead and just kind of do like my high puff or maybe I like to do like a half up half down so I kind of have that extra volume so that is one of the reasons why I um I continue to use this um 
this uh, four product combo just because I really feel like it gives me the results that I'm looking for. So just because you know I have thick hair, you know I, I am heavy handed, heavy handed on products as you can see, but I've also tried not to be heavy handed on products and then I just get a lot of frizz. So to me it's like I have to be, um, I have to be heavy handed with my products. And you know my hair doesn't mind it and it seems to really enjoy it, so that's why I continue um, to do it. But I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It's very much appreciated. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, you comment, let me know what other videos you guys are interested in me doing. I love hearing your ideas. Share this video with someone and I will be seeing all of you soon. Until then, have a wonderful weekend guys. Take care. Thank you.